Hey, 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 gamers. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Welcome in, everybody, to another stream. Uh, this should be, should be, looking forward to the first full week of streams since our little incident in the last couple weeks. So, this one ought to be full of surprises and full of content for everybody to enjoy. Um, speaking of content, what are we doing today? We are playing on the Homeland server for the first hour of the stream. I know, I'd like to go longer, I, I really would, but, you know, scheduling Terraria around everyone's schedules means that, you know, I only really have this first hour for anything else, unless I want to, like, work through scheduling Terraria later, but I don't, I think there was some problem with that anyway. I don't want to get too deep into it, but for now, we're starting on Homelands, and we're going to do a little mining expedition. Hopefully we're gonna get ourselves some diamonds. I wanted to build a shop today, but everybody's kind of like split on where we want the shopping district to be right now. And seeing as I lost the resources to build the shop, I'm gonna have to regather those anyway, probably ahead of stream. So, because that's kind of boring. That's just gonna be me chopping a couple trees down and wandering around looking for the terracotta that I need. Uh, or maybe designing a new shop that doesn't use the terracotta so that I don't have to like, rip apart the one mesa in the entire server the design i made could use a couple tweaks anyway so that'll probably be better so with those extraneous factors that means we've only really got one option and that's going mining to hopefully up our gear game since our end trip last time didn't work out um and then after that we're gonna be doing some terraria with the kumba crew as usual as usual but uh They've made a lot of progress without me over the past, like, week because I haven't been a part of the streams. So there's going to be a lot to see there and a lot to see in this first segment. So please enjoy our stream for tonight. And I will move us over to the in-game screen and we will get rolling. Let me get the game maximized here. Multiplayer. Home lands. Oh god, I, I really can't stop staring at the at the drop frames and hoping they don't happen. I thought it, I thought I just saw it go up to one. <laughs> that would have been funny. Oh, I had shaders on because I was using them for stuff. Uh, just stuff, just some thumbnails for the VOD channel. Uh, to make sure that we have a. Uh oh. Come on. Don't. Cr oh, come on. Come on, now that was just unfair. I could never have possibly known that. That was ridiculous. Well, I mean, we've got this. Oh, we're back to graves, by the way. I remember last time I mentioned that the server had been switched from graves to, uh, from graves back to like no item despawns. So that, you know, stuff wasn't just ripped from our hands and, you know, for me, progress isn't just entirely halted. Uh-oh. I gotta get up on this tree, because I think it's up here. Nope, there it is. And... No, leave me alone, dude! Okay, of course he dies the moment I stop going for it. Let me grab these. See, I really don't mind uh, moving back to graves. I just... I feel like, uh, I just feel like a mind needs to be made up somewhere on whether we're using graves or not. Because, oh, there's my helmet. Uh, because, I don't know, I'm just, it, it just seems very wishy-washy. Okay, that'll always point me toward that spot. I can just huck it, whatever. Um, so I want to go caving today. That's, that's chief among my list of things to get done. First thing I want to do, though, before we do that, we've got a couple little itty-bitty, like, tiny housekeeping things to take care of. One of which being, I want to make some of these shulkers. Or rather, I want to make one shulker. I want to make a shulker for this mining trip, just to carry around. Put those pumpkins away. Grab the sticks. And we're gonna take all the coal we can get, because we're gonna need a bunch. 
this is going to be quite the mining trip indeed. How much did that net us? More than we could ever possibly need. That's good. Because I feel our inventory is going to get full fast. I don't want to... Um... I don't want to carry a bunch of stuff I don't really need on me. Such as this... Or this, actually. What else? What else can we be rid of? Uh, these granite blocks are kind of throwaways at this point. I've, I've used all the granite I think that I'm gonna use. Acacia planks. That's nice. Uh, the cobble we can keep on us. These I want to put away. I'm happy to carry trash items that I can just toss out at any given moment. But, like, I just don't want to, you know... I don't want to be carrying a bunch of uh, valuables and then grab more valuables while we're out there and, you know, oopsie, we've, uh, we've been left with no choice but to throw something expensive out if we want to carry some other nice object we find. Because being local rat man, I do very much enjoy my shinies, despite how few of them I have at the moment. Um, I haven't checked in on the sugarcane. I planted the sugarcane a while ago. But, like, you can see where, like, the chunk load divide is when I'm over there. So, like, it's just far enough that these are growing, but those are not. There's another cave right around here somewhere that I've yet to explore. That I don't know if somebody else has come through and gotten to. But there are definitely more caves here in this landmass to be ravaged. Because the cave that's in our little quarry that I dig off stream uh, is not doing too hot. It's, uh, it's, it's been pretty much pilfered for all it's worth by me. Uh, so we have to kind of seek resources elsewhere a little bit. Hopefully this doesn't become one of those streams. It seems like all Monday streams are doomed to constantly repeat on the idea of, all right, well, we've got Terraria in an hour, so time to just run around in circles looking for our objective in Minecraft and then not find it in time. And, you know, there we go. Like, I hold no reservations about the fact that we're not going to be able to finish this mining trip in one stream. Like, we're definitely going to have to come back, like, on on the next stream, and we're going to still be in the cave. Ah, here we go. There it is. I knew I had a cave right around here somewhere that was worth exploring. Let me eat up real quick. I probably should have grabbed more food on my way out, but I just, I just hopped off on the last of the... Ooh. Big cave. Just hopped off on the last of the stakes, so I don't really need, need much. Alright, let's see. How do we want to tackle this? Or do we want to tackle it at all? Because it looks like it just comes to a halt there. On this side. Yeah, it looks to be the case. Alright, let's check this side, because this is much more open and available. I'll take coal. Pretty much anything I can be presented with at this point. Alright. Um, hmm. Ah! Already. We got plenty of stuff to explore here. I, I want to turn down the music just a little bit. Just a hair. I just realized I never, I never bothered to really turn it down. For like the actual stream proper. And so it's a bit loud. I don't think it was overpowering me quite yet. But it was, it was certainly getting there in the louder bits. Alright, let's, uh, let's grab this coal. Oh, do I only have one pick on me? Oh, well, that might that might end poorly for me. Oh, well, not like we have all the time in the world right now anyhow. So I'm not that worried about having to cut it short if I do. Um, I mean, I am a little bit after just mentioning how big of a mining trip this was going to be for me. But, you know, it's, it's not like I'm a million blocks away from home and won't be able to ever make it back here, you know. Nothing that way. Nothing that would be worth the trouble, anyway. Ooh, a ravine this is! You keep your distance. Okay, I thought that was a skeleton for a moment. Um, uh, just having a look around. I'm just peeping. A lot of times I'll see mine shafts poking out through these, and a mine shaft would be insanely fruitful for us would very much enjoy having access to one of those. 
bad boys. Uh, anything this way? Well, literally nothing this way. I was making sure there weren't monsters about to rip my face off as soon as I whip back around to grab this coal. Okie dokie. God, I started, gra I started mining this coal and my brain just shut down immediately. <laughs> See, I, like I mentioned last stream, every, everyone seems to be moving just a bit faster than me on the server. Like, I mean, ju by just a bit, I mean absolutely leagues faster. It looks like all that cave had to offer. I think there was another opening around here. I mean, other than the ravine, of course, but that I can just drop down into from above and have a much easier time. Right? Does the ravine not surface? It'd be over here somewhere, I think. Um. Ooh, another pit, though. Nope, that's the ravine. Okay. Um. What's gonna make this manageable for me is being able to just hop. Not that it matters, because I'm digging up anyway. We're gonna want a convenient staircase in and out of here in case we have to... Yeah, I'll just dig it with the food I'm gonna put into my mouth later. No problem. No worries, it'll be perfect, don't worry. Uh, does this continue down? It does a little, yeah. Oh, well look where we come out at. Lovely, I love it when this happens. Absolutely perfect. Give me these. Hmm. It looks like it branches off into its own little cave system on the side, so at least I know I'm gonna be getting something worth my while. Okay. Assuming I don't manage to break my pickaxe or kill myself falling down here. That's why I'm trying to use these blocks where I can. Oh, that just goes straight down. I'm so glad I didn't just dive off that. Okay, alright, let's see. Always digging into these ravines is so hard, because it's like... When there's water at the bottom, I can just choop straight down, and I definitely would have this time without thinking twice. Uh, so it's probably better that there wasn't. But, like, having to, like, dig down these jagged walls always sucks every single time the worst thing that can happen to a person ever there we go and we'll just have it loop and we'll turn it around or that could happen hey hey nope 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 I will not have it you will back up sir back up I said back up yeah, okay, you're not in a position to attack me now, so that's something. Let's get back up, uh, ooh, not right there. Over here. Let's, uh, let's climb up. That just instilled some fear into me that I didn't like. Okay. Tricky, tricky gravel. Gotta be careful. Don't want... Oh, 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 oh. Almost had me again. Just as I was saying, I don't really want this to go south because I was oh, oh 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 because I was a moron and didn't account for things that I should have. Already having to munch up again to stay alive down here. Um, speaking of staying alive down here, what do you have for me, tight, compact cave that mobs will have a hard time spawning around me in? Well, you know, I say that. I forgot I had my shield on me entirely until I just checked because of the... Ooh, now that opens up. I don't want to get too close to that ledge while I'm hearing a skeleton. But that really opened up a bit, huh? Not, not terribly. It could have opened up more for sure. If this pickaxe breaks before I get any ore with it, I'm going to be so disappointed. Cause, I mean, I could grab this copper, but I'm not wasting durability on copper right now. I can't be bothered. Oh, he's down here, isn't he? 
I bet he is. There's iron down there, but I'm sure there's iron up here too if I look hard enough. No? Okay. How about over here? Ah! 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 <laughs> All right. Nearly, nearly got me there. Glow squid. Oh, like I said, probably iron up here. So I, I, I might have guessed it. Maybe. You can't be sure that I didn't. I definitely called it. Um, one over there. Where else? Where else? I haven't been keeping good stock of this back wall or keeping this place lit up, really. Someday a piece of iron will let its guard down, and when that day comes, I will be there. Um, what's down here? More coal that's not worth digging up. I drowned. Speaking of drowned, I might be becoming one shortly if I don't surface. There we go. Does he have a trident? No, no, he's just a normal guy. Let's, uh, let's abandon this path, except for you. Hello. I very much like seeing you. We're gonna need a lot of you. I don't know what it is about Lapis. I guess it's just how often it's available. But I remember Lapis Gathering being a real, real issue at some point. I kinda don't want to go down this path. This is sort of a way I don't want to go. I guess I kind of have to, though, or else, you know. I'll work with the landscape, because I'm on very borrowed time with this pickaxe. Do I have, a, hmm. I have the materials on me to make a new stone one to get me by. I suppose I do. If I absolutely have to, I'll do that. I want to avoid it, though. It's very much not ideal. Nope. Not what I wanted to do. God, I'm such an idiot. I didn't even think for a second to check on my durability before I just walked off into the sunset. Very unprepared of me. That's fine, I'm spontaneous. The king of spontaneity, I'd say. Probably for worse more than for better, but you know, I'm good at it. Let me, speaking of things I'm not, I'm good at, I'm not good at dealing with lava. I'd like to block that off, please and step around it and see what's over this way. Cause now we're in deep slate territory, which could mean very good things. That, however, is not one of them. I was hoping that was diamonds when I crossed this corner. Cause, oh, 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 what Y level are we at? We're at four. So diamonds are very possible now. Crossing into this area. Are you gonna fight me? Where'd you go? I think you left. Or at least left enough for me not to care. Grab iron. Iron does not go amiss. Like, and it's like, I, I don't think I'd feel as bad about my game progress thus far on the server if I at least managed to, like, substantially acquire iron gear. Because if I, if I were allowed myself to make progress off stream more than I do, I hear you, I just don't see you. There you are. All gold, look at him go. You go, king. Hit it. Slay even. Die about it. Okay. Alright, let's. Ooh, 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 ooh. Go off. Thank you. Didn't blow that iron, did you? You did not. Good, good, good. Easy grabs. Oh! <laughs> gotta quit doing that. I gotta take better stock of my surroundings before I just go mining resources. Alright. Skelly boy? Skelly boy, around the corner like I wouldn't notice. I heard you jingle jangling. Yeah, we're trading blows, there we go. And end of this little dirt cavern here. 
iron though. Well, at, at least at a bare minimum, we've gathered enough resources to get our pickaxe back and then some. Heck, that's enough to finish off our iron armor too. Or what's left of it anyway. Um, let's see. Another dead end. Woo! Glad I came down here. You know, I say that, but like, at least I got a bunch of iron out of the deal. You know, I'm I'm doing I'm doing well financially for myself here. Stay vigilant. Stay ready for any creepers to pop out of any corners. Any iron to appear from it from within the walls. Ooh, new path. How did I miss this? Oh, because I went down there first. That's right. All right. Ooh, more lapis. Like, there's just such an abundance of it lately. I feel like lapis used to be a thing that you would kind of have to, like, want after. Like, diamonds. Like, I don't know what in particular made me think that. But... I feel like it used to be a resource you would have to, like, actively seek out and find if you wanted more than like three of them. Like how people do with like diamonds and whatnot. I guess you don't have to go out of your way for it necessarily. You just kind of have to go out of your way to go mining every every good bit. But like, it used to be something to be acquired and now it feels like by the time I get to the point of the game where I'm able to like freely enchant things, I don't really have the restrictions of, like, needing Lapis, because, like, I have Lapis, you know? This pickaxe could break at any moment. I have advanced tooltips, I can see. 32 durability does not tell me how, tell me how many uses I have left. I could have sworn that the advanced... Oh my god, that bat came out of nowhere. Um, what are you? That's a glow lichen. The occasional glow lichen. What's off this way? I like exploring these fringes before I really get deep into a main room. Because then I make dents in like the perimeter of the main room along the way. Now you wouldn't kill my pickaxe trying to let me in here, would you? All for naught. All for naught. Can you believe it? Because I can't. Unbelievable. Came all the way down here. And I get nothing for my trouble. Terrible service. Could write a Yelp review about this cave. Ooh, iron. Oh, skeleton. Oh, monsters are around every turn. Let's uh, let's take a back paddle here. Oh fuck. Where did I come from? This is definitely not where I came from, but this is a decent spot to like haul up until I can get back on my feet by stepping right here and just having a quick munch. I should have used dirt for that. That's gonna be my pickaxe, isn't it? No? Okay, I keep expecting my pickaxe to like die on me at any like given turn give me another shot would you stop peeping oh thanks a ton fellow skeleton i assume got him and not the zombie oh my god so many skellies there always are in these new caves these newfangled caves okay i just gave him the advantage of range by using that so that's wonderful he'll come back around though I'm not so worried. Thank you for taking care of that one, zombie. You'd think the zombies are on my side at this point. Ah, oh, he just managed to get me through that hit on the zombie. Come on now. Ooh. Still got one on me while flying through the air. That I can appreciate. However, I'm not so appreciative of the lack of regen that I'm getting from these stakes. Not perfect. 
Okay, now it's just the zombie. Don't underestimate him, but like, just the zombie, so not a huge, huge deal. Okay, okay. What's down here? I don't know, but I'm gonna light it up anyway to keep monsters from coming out of the woodwork on me. I mean, they're still gonna, because there's still plenty of- there's still plenty of woodwork to come out of, but... Maybe I can null that down a little bit. Uh, this is still part of the same open section of cave, so I'll just allow that to ex Go off. You're not sneaking up on me that easy, bud. Oh, 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 oh. And my shield's gone. And my shield's gone. No, 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 no. We, we have to go. We have to go now. I'm afraid that we must be leaving. Nope, 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 nope. Let me leave, let me leave, let me leave, let me leave, let me leave. Let me out of here. Can I safely and swiftly make, an, make a dramatic exit before I am absolutely crushed to death? Oh, more iron that I missed. Love it when you get backtrack materials. It's gotta be one of my favorite mechanics. Poor eyesight. Uh, let's go. You know, I, I mentioned this in the Discord the other day, but I was thinking about it, and... Oh, this is the wrong way. I was thinking about it, and of all of the rodents that have poor eyesight, a trait that I, I share with them, I picked one of the very few rodents that is not known for that at all. <laughs> I mean, I suppose rats have bad eyesight, I mean, they don't have great eyesight from what I've heard, but I haven't heard remarkably bad things about it compared to, like, you know, moles who literally can't see. But there's so much more down there. What am I doing? Don't gotta go till the pickaxe breaks. Oh, I see. Not really much of a way up here. Bring home the bacon, or iron, I guess, in this particular case. Oh, and there's so much. Oh, and there's so much. Oh, oh, it's it's just out of reach. Gah! Okay, how much iron am I bringing home? 50 and over a stack of lapis. We'll take those. We take those here. I'll definitely be returning to this cave. Maybe in the next stream. But for now, we're gonna skedaddle on out of here. I don't feel like... Like, this has to be the way out, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Andy boy. Fancy seeing you here. Oh. While I'm thinking about it, I might as well grub up a little bit. Uh, what are we doing time-wise? We're at 35 minutes. We've got enough time to go make a new, uh, couple new picks and come right back down. So that'll be spectacular. I don't know just how much mining we can get done this way. But we'll see. We'll see. Because it's just straight over this hill and we're home. Heck, I'm surprised you can't really see it from here, but that's only because of the hill. Right? Right, it's right over here. Now I'm second guessing because it literally is right over the hill, but I just, I can't see it from here. And if I can't see it, it's not real. It doesn't exist. Because this is my this is my mountain that I've been like digging through. Gosh, I wish minecarts were more viable. Speaking of digging through mountains, so that I could like make a really elaborate like server railway system in the overworld. And maybe in the nether too. I don't know, I like trains. Trains are cool. It would be sick to have a nice railway system going on. You know, fun fact, I considered, uh, instead, speaking of builds, of, instead of doing something original with this whole, like, warehouse thing that I've done here, uh, I considered initially the prospect of going with, going with, like, the section of Mesa that we have on the server and building, like, as much of Black Mesa or, like, a Black Mesa-inspired facility as I could, but I don't, I didn't want to be one note, you know? I don't want to be the Half-Life guy. I mean, I kind of am, but, like, 
I don't want to be solely pegged down as the Half-Life guy, and that's just what I am. Because honestly, I don't feel like Half-Life fits my aesthetic that much at all. It's just a game series that I really enjoy, so why wouldn't I stream it? You know? Speaking of Half-Life, uh, the Blue Shift series and this series, the uh, Homeland series, have started going up on the VODs channel. You can check those out if you wanted. Uh, what else did we have to do? We had to get rid of some of this. I have wood somewhere. I know I've got some wood somewhere, and if I don't, I can gather a bit. Because I I did a lot of wood mi Oh, a lot of that wood went to... I did that wood mining back when I was putting the flooring in on the base, is the thing. Let me see if I can just knock, a, knock like a limb off of this. I'm not so sure. This one, however, is low enough that I feel like I can knock a couple off of it. Because I hate taking out these, like, large oak trees. Because they look nice, yeah, but they're always super inconvenient to cut down. Can never be as simple as cut the, cut the stump down and call it a day. Or cut the trunk down and call it a day. Which, I mean, I guess to do that, you'd have to have only a trunk like these trees. But still. Come on now. I don't know how much wood we need, but we're getting all of it. We're gonna get all the wood. In the whole world. Every inch of it. Oh yeah, another reason I'd go with that whole, like, Black Mesa idea. Outside of, like, being, like sort of, like, categorized as the Half-Life guy is because I don't want to, uh... I, I don't want to take the one small section of, of Mesa that we have on the current server map away from someone. Because I didn't know who was going where at the time, so I just kind of, like, decided around, oh, I want to do some villager stuff, so I'll pick a village, and I'll go to a village, and I'll build around that village. And I still haven't done much villager stuff. I mean, I've set up a couple, like, small trades, yeah, but, like, those are only for, like, emerald farming. Oh my god, the game is so loud compared to me. Uh, what are we looking at, wood was? We've got plenty. Uh, we might as well even it out. We might as well make it a stack. I'll get enough to make it a stack, and then I'll replant. Yeah. I'm thinking a stack is a good number to stop at. 48? Why am I opening my inventory for this? It's in my hotbar. One last thing stream related I wanted to talk about while I was uh, doing this is, uh, is, is also VOD related. I was looking back at the blue shift VODs and then that didn't really hit it as much as like watching other people because like I like to I like to watch other content creators I enjoy play games that I'm currently playing or have played of course not getting to a point where it's spoilery like I'll watch it as I'm playing it but I watched like full playthroughs of blue shift two of them and both of them had a much easier time than I did and then like I was like huh I wonder why I wonder why they had such an easy time and why you know everybody else on the internet is claiming they had such an easy time with it when I had, like, you know, I didn't have, like, immense amounts of trouble with it, but I had enough trouble with it that, like, two hours was not a feasible time. I beat that in. I felt like. So, I, I thought about it, and then I uh, went back and I looked at the VODs the second time, and I was like, man, I'll tell you what it is. I wake up at, like, 6, and then I get a shower and, like, hang out for, like, an hour, maybe, and then I stream. I'm half asleep doing these blue shift streams. So I need to I need to wake up a little more. And so today I got up at like three. So that I'd have a few hours. And I feel like this stream is going much better for it. I felt kinda existential for a minute of like, oh no, what if I'm a fraud? What if I'm not as entertaining as I think I am, you know, when really it's just it's I, I'm not as entertaining as I think I am. I know that to be true. But like in reality, most of the problems with those streams in particular weren't anything to do with my personality shifting or my ability to stream and be entertaining slipping away from me, and more so just to do with uh, the fact that, oh, I just didn't even have, like, any energy at all going on. I was just absolutely conked out. 
Including the first few streams of this server. Like, yeah, it takes a lot out of me to stream. It does. I won't sit here and pretend, oh no, streaming is easy. I can do it like that all day, every day. No problem. If that were the case, I wouldn't be only streaming three times a week. I would definitely be streaming more than I currently do if uh, if streaming wasn't wasn't tiring at all and like ask any content creator yeah it's it's wonderful and I, I love it to death and I wouldn't give it up for the world at the moment but like at the same time my goodness can it be an absolute slug I just keep adding to the set of chests out here I, a slug isn't the right word it, it's just it's it's work it's still work even even if you're like me and you just do it as like a hobbyist it's still work at the end of the day and i think that's what i think that's what my main point here is is that like you know work is work is work no matter how much you enjoy it whoever said you uh if you enjoy what you do you never work a day in your life lied absolutely like wholesale complete fraud can't believe it because you know, I, I really love this, and I don't even do it as a job, and, like, it, it's it's taxing, man. It's absolutely taxing. I don't know what to tell you beyond that, really. I'm gonna carry some of these extra blocks, just the miscellaneous stuff on me. Just, just to get rid of it. Because I'll run through those blocks in no time. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Are you done? You're done, and you're done. And what do we need armor-wise? We just need a chest plate. Okay. We have 50 iron wowzers. All right. Let's make a new chest plate. And give me my sticks, please, because I have too many sticks. I need to just not use wood for sticks anymore and just carry sticks on me. And we got enough to make not one, not two, but three pickaxes. And then I'm gonna put these away so that I don't die and lose all of it. All right, and with that, I feel like we are just about geared up to be worth going mining. But problem being, we're at 45 minutes, so we might just uh, stick around the base and see what housekeeping stuff we can get done. Such as breeding up more cattle. That's something that has to be taken care of. And then, now that we've bred more cattle, we need to top off our farms. We need to build actual proper farms. Because these, like, villager farms are nice. Like, for sure, they're cool. But, like, they're just a mess, really. They're, like, always annoying to navigate. And I constantly lose crop to just, like, falling off a block onto another one. So they're not the most effective way to farm in the game, for sure. But I like them. They've got whimsy. They're aesthetically nice, so I keep them around. I just don't know how long I'm gonna keep them around before I say screw it and just build. Uh, and just go ahead and build something grid-like. But, you know, that's that's days to come. I'll get that sorted. Especially if I'm going to sell crops, I'm going to have to get that super quickly sorted. Because we got a lot right now. These are providing enough to get started. And, like, villager farms, say what you will about, like, naturally generating structures. But, like, villager farms and, like, villages as a whole, really, are, like, super fruitful if you take care of them. Like, if you keep a village alive and well, it's super, like, eventful and fruitful for you, the player. And it's nice. It's nice. And, like, that's not to say it's no effort, but, like, if you just want to do the bare minimum and, like, you know, harvest the farms, replant, and, you know, maybe trade with a farmer every now and again, that's absolutely valid, and it, it it's super effective even still i need to get rid of these like half torn down houses too maybe i'll do that in a moment once i've got these farms done if we have time because these farms do take a minute i usually do this off stream because this just is a time consuming thing 
to have to do. But I've already started, so now I'm gonna finish. And we're just gonna, just so, I don't know, I guess it gives me an opportunity to show you guys just how much I gain from going ahead and taking some of these. But uh, on the subject of VODs though, I've been having a lot of fun with the VOD channel and making sure VODs go up like they should and how they should. You got a whole nother block to put a thing on, man. I'm not putting one there. Or I'm not ruining one so that you can land there where that crop was at. Which, I mean, it's arguable that the wheat is more beneficial for me anyway. But, whatever. Melons are like a garbage food source, but they're, they're readily abundant. So, you know, and not even by farming them. Like, if you just take a trip to a jungle and break all the melons you see in, like, an average-sized jungle, you'll have enough food to last you, well, probably not that long, actually, but you'll have a ton of it. But no, yeah, that's what I was saying. Uh, VOD channel is doing well. It's actually starting to see some viewership now, which is great. Like, I'm getting, like, two or three views per VOD upload on the channel, and I, like... This is not just me doing a promo, by the way, I do want to talk about this, but like at the same time, if you want to go check out the VODs channel, it's just Voxel64 full streams and VODs over on YouTube, or if you're in the stream, you can use Nightbot and type in exclamation point VODs, and you'll get a direct link straight to that channel. But uh, putting together thumbnails for the VODs channel, uh oh, uh oh, I'm being sucked. I'm getting sucked, boys. Okay, we're safe can't suck the rat it's been it's been really fun but like putting together the VOD for this series or the VOD thumbnail for this series was hard because I, I pick a screenshot from the game I'm playing usually off the web or if it's like a sandbox game like this where like my input determines what the game looks like then I'll use like a screenshot from my playthrough but it tends to be better and higher quality if I'm able to pull one offline for most games I pick a, a very, like, nice, dynamic screenshot of the game that looks, like, really interesting and, like, eye-catching. And then I use that as, like, the image for all my VODs of that game. I've thought about putting a new screenshot in every single time based on, like, the area of each game that I'm in. But then, like, I feel like that wouldn't work out as well as I would hope, you know? Because pulling screenshots from these streams is rather difficult for games like uh, Minecraft. If we're just up to like Half-Life, there are a ton of uh, oh, excuse me, there are a ton of Half-Life screenshots out there to pull from. But like finding decent like screenshots from the vods of these streams, and even those games online, some hard, some some hard, sometimes are hard to find decent HD screenshots to use like for the blue shift bot I almost went in myself and like booted the game up which I haven't done yet but like could do uh and just gone and gotten my own screenshot just because the internet was having such a hard time providing me with a decent screenshot which, eh, whatever. God forbid I have to do the smallest amount of work. The, the VOD uploads are super low effort, I feel. But, like, you know, it's not about effort. It's not supposed to be, like, super-duper well-made content. It's, it's just the thumbnails catch your eye, you click on it, and then, boom, I've got, hopefully, a, a, a growing YouTube audience that tune in through the VODs on top of the normal, you know, stream audience. Uh, which seems to be working in my favor just a bit, but like even even if even if it sits at zero, it's it's about that. But it's also even more than that. It's about oh, let me grab this so I don't forget. It's about making sure that um, what we have on the what we have on Twitch is preserved because as much as like I could keep highlighting the vods on Twitch, and I will. I'm not gonna stop highlighting the vods on Twitch if you'd rather watch them there. Uh, but, uh, I don't know why you would is the issue, because Twitch's video player, pretty widely known, I hate to badmouth the platform that, you know, I'm building myself on, but pretty widely known, or widely believed in circles that I've run in, at the very least, that Twitch's video player, eh, 
eh, not the best. Not the not the greatest thing in the world. As much as I'd like to say it. Uh, let's compost some of these seeds real quick. We got time. It's just mindless clicking, but we can do it. Uh, speaking of mindless clicking, it's time for bed. But yeah, it's it's about it's about content archival more than anything else. So that you know, if if for whatever reason the streams pop off Twitch, Twitch decides, hey, this channel no longer exists, and I have to like start up somewhere else, or less drastic, of course. Uh, Less drastic, of course, if Twitch somehow, like, has some major issue and loses my VODs. I've got copies elsewhere. And that's always a good thing. You know, until it starts clogging my PC with, uh, with VOD downloads. But no, uh, we can... You can see content there. I just don't want it to be lost. And, like, having another platform with a decent video player to view said content on is always good. Because there are going to be people who find those VODs and that VOD channel on YouTube, you know, after the fact and just get to enjoy series that way. Or, you know, it's somewhere to, it's somewhere definitive outside of, yeah, just look in my VODs tab, you know, to go and send people to, uh, cause Twitch makes collections very hard to access. So it also, like, YouTube also gives me a chance to use, like, very clean, nice looking playlists. Nice. Why is everything so loud? That's the problem, is the whole, like, audio system is so fucking loud and it's just drowning me out. There, we'll bring the game up a little bit. But, um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah, YouTube allows me to, like, set up proper... Are we out? Got another stack. No, proper playlists, so that, like... If, say, like, this series, this Homeland series, if someone wanted to... If someone wanted to view... All the content there was for my ho my my perspective on the homelands. Finding a Twitch collection is actually impossible because I don't have one for this series. But even if I had made one, to get to collections, you have to go through like three separate menus on my channel to get there. And there's zero way for me to move it there unless I add it as a, fe a featured collection on my front page. And not every collection can be a featured collection because, you know, that's just not how the that's not how the thing works. So, like, you have to go, I think it's from the channel page, you have to click over to the videos tab, and then from the videos tab, uh, from the videos tab, you click all videos, and then it shows collections. That, either that, or there's a tab specifically for collections, and then you have to click show more to show all of them. YouTube's playlist system, most people are, like, way more familiar with that, and how that works, and, like, how to find content on demand on YouTube rather than finding it on Twitch. So it super opens up, uh, but that's that's just my take. I mean, you're allowed you're allowed to like prefer Twitch. I don't I don't really. Oh, we still have another stack of these we can do real quick. This won't take long at all, uh, and that might just be the last thing we do for this little Minecraft segment, depending on how long it takes. But you're allowed to enjoy Twitch's video player, and if you'd prefer to watch the content on Twitch, I'm I'm sorry. It'll still exist. I'm not, and I'm gonna keep highlighting it. I'm not gonna stop. Uh, but uh, it just won't exist in collections anymore because I can't, unless like I'm playing a game like Blue Shift, I think, or like Half Life the series. You know, I'll I'll compile those, but like. It's just, it's just so much effort that, like, maybe one person might utilize it over just, like, watching VODs or catching streams, you know? Whereas, like, I feel like the YouTube channel, a lot more people are like, Oh, I want to watch, I want to watch a Voxel 64 stream, but I don't want to, you know, take the trouble of, like, waiting until 8pm on uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday to actually, like sit down and watch Eastern Standard Time, by the way. Uh, so that's just, you know, an easy on-demand way to find that. You just go on YouTube and you fucking you search it up like you would anything else, and there it is. It's currently two uploads a day is what I'm working with, but I'm hoping to uh, slow that down once we get caught up. We're like, by my math, we're about a week from being able to catch up. I think that's it for Minecraft, though. Uh, but no, yeah, thesis statement. VODs are cool. You should go check them out if you can, but this isn't really just 
this is really just me wanting to talk about, you know, the efforts being put in on the VODs channel side of things. Uh, VODs are cool. Really cool. Uh, I'll talk more about it in the BRB. But, uh, I need to close off this segment. So, uh, thank you, Minecraft enjoyers, for being a part of our little stream here. You don't have to go anywhere. Stick around. There's Terraria to be had shortly after this. There's not really a whole lot uh, left to say other than I didn't adjust this window to fit this. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Pay no attention. Hey, 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 hey. Stop looking. Quit it. Quit it. Okay, you can look now. Uh, <laughs> but no, that's our Minecraft segment. Hope you've enjoyed. And... Yeah, no, I'll uh, I'll run it back and we're going to run an ad real quick while I get switched over to Terraria and then we'll switch over and join everyone in the Kumba crew for a little for a little RAR and see what they're up to or what they've been up to. Be back in a short moment. Thank you. 